Hi, my name is Dr. Kevin Mao, physical therapist and owner of Balance and Body Restoration Physical Therapy Massage, uh, which is a physical therapy massage clinic located in the East Bay of California, where we help people who struggle and suffer from chronic pain and injury, and we help them find natural solutions to their pain and injury through a combination of massage, through soft tissue release therapies, and through corrective exercise. And I create these videos as a means of just sharing some of the lessons that I've learned over the past 12 years in working with patients with hopes that it helps provide some uh, useful tips and advice to those of you who are out there who are also struggling with chronic pain and looking for solutions that are safe and also very effective. And uh, today's topic is around a, uh, a topic that just uh, I've been meaning to talk about for quite some time because it's something that I, I find is just so common that's out there and it's just largely misunderstood and just uh, uh, there's a lot of misconceptions around this topic which prevents people from uh, getting better. And the topic I want to go over is revolved, revolved around posture. So the reason why I want to talk about posture is because, again, uh, owning and operating a clinic out here in the East Bay of California, a lot of the patients I see, uh, they work in tech, meaning that they are spending um, 8 to 10, and in some cases up to 12 to 14 hours, uh, sitting at a desk, working at a computer, and just the overall physical toll that that has taken on people over the course of 10 years accelerated by the past three years with everybody kind of working from home with not great ergonomics has just accelerated the amount of people that I see um, with, you know, struggling with more uh, chronic pain and injuries. Now, um, the reason why I want to talk about this topic a little bit further is because I feel that when people are coming into the clinic, they're coming in with some pretty, uh, pretty bad cases sometimes. So again, we're seeing people sometimes uh, coming in with really chronic, uh, you know, nerve types of pains coming from, from compression in their neck that are causing symptoms such as, you know, crazy tension headaches or just really, um, you know, bad nerve pain that kind of shoots down their arm or, or just it gets to the point where they can barely sleep, they can barely concentrate, they can barely think. Um, over the past couple of, uh, you know, months especially, I've been seeing an influx of uh, just new parents, uh, you know, people in their uh, mid to early 30s that have just, their bodies have just kind of worn down under the, the stress and the strain of their job, just sitting at a desk for, for 10 hours a day. And their backs have worn out to the point where, you know, even a couple of new fathers are at a point where they can't even bend over to pick up their new newborn child because their backs are in such pain and they just can't find a way out of it. And, you know, lastly, the reason why I want to go over this is because, you know, we also see people who their bodies have gotten to a point where they have they're suffering with more serious conditions known as like herniated discs or just, you know, chronic back pain and, and back spasms to the point where, again, they're just having, you know, symptoms known as sciatic and nerve pain where their pain is just shooting down their legs um, and to the point where they can barely sit, they can barely function. And in some cases, they even have to stop working just because their bodies just cannot handle the pressure of just sitting for 10 hours a day any longer. And uh, at the root of what we uh, aim to do for a lot of these patients and one of the things that really helps them is when we're able to just make some improvements upon their posture in a way that's uh, long lasting and not just kind of temporary. And um, in working with these patients, I just, I just feel that there are just, again, a lot of misconceptions that people have about their posture. And I hope to, you know, help with this video, just help you understand that one, posture is something that can improve. Uh, and two, it does uh, make a difference in terms of preventing and also treating uh, various types of chronic pain and injury that we see. So when I talk about misconceptions, what, what am I actually talking about and how can we start to uh, fix or rectify some of these mis misconceptions so that you can start to maybe make improvements on your own uh, through the advice uh, found in this video. So I guess the main misconceptions that uh, we typically see, uh, some of the patients when they come in, you know, when we ask them, you know, they, they generally have a some form of understanding or, or some type of idea that their posture is not in good shape. Uh, they know that, you know, they've been sitting at a desk. They know that their their bodies are in a, obviously some type of like slumped or slouch position for a long period of time. Um, but I think the biggest misconception is that like they think that it's just something that they can get better if they just work on it. Uh, the patients that typically say they'll say things such as, oh, yeah, I know my posture is bad. I know I should probably pay more attention to it. Or sometimes they may think that, oh, I know I probably should probably try one of those posture braces, or they, maybe they might want to try some of those silly little devices that people put on their spines that'll give you a zap every time you slump forward, 
where they try to you know, rely upon some type of app that's gonna remind them every 20 minutes to upright their posture. But in reality, a lot of those things just, they don't, they don't really work that well because posture is not something that is, uh, you should have to be consciously thinking about all the time. Instead, posture is something that should be more automatic and subconscious, similar to walking, where we shouldn't have to think about every single step that we take when we walk. It's just something our body should naturally take care of. However, how I want you to see posture, again, it's not something that you should always have to be consciously thinking about. Instead, you should, you should think about it as more of a total outcome of various systems within your body working effectively. And if any of those systems are not working the way that they intend to, then you might start to, you might expect to have, uh, be suffering with poor posture. And again, I see a lot of people who are trying to fix their posture in ways that are just not effective because they're just not knowing of what these systems actually are. So I just wanna take some time just to briefly outline what some of these systems are and, that, uh, and then give you some examples of how you can start to work on improving some of these systems within your body so you can start to improve your posture hopefully within uh, sometimes with, you might see changes in a couple of days, but definitely within a couple of weeks if you're able to just uh, follow along with some of the things that um, I, I may suggest. So what are these systems that I'm talking about? What are the three main systems that I think that uh, you should work on if you want to improve your posture, especially if you find yourself uh, sitting at a desk for a majority of the day? So the first system, uh, again, we'll explain into more depth a little, a little bit later into the video, um, is this concept of spine mobility. Now, when I mean by spine mobility, it's just simply, you know, does your spine actually move? For a lot of people that spend uh, a lot of time in this, this kind of work posture, this kind of hunched uh, posture with a, a rounded upper back, what a lot of people are just inattentive or unaware of by the fact that they spend so much time with their spine in this position that they've actually lost the ability for their spine to actually bend and move. And a lot of my patients are a little taken aback or a little surprised by the fact that they just had no idea that one, their spine was supposed to move, and two, they just don't realize how much mobility they have lost by just the sheer fact that they've been sitting in this position for a long period of time. So even if they, they try to you know, force themselves to stay upright, it usually just goes back to a, a baseline because they just lack mobility in these vertebrae to be able to even have the ability to give you a chance to sit upright. Um, the second system that uh, we aim to try to improve upon is once we have potentially improved, restored the motion along your spine, is to then teach you how to activate the, the long muscles along your spine that are actually responsible for holding you upright. A lot of people have this idea that in order for you to sit up straight or for you to be able to stand with better posture, you constantly need to be pulling your shoulders back or you need to be expending all this, these resources and all this energy just to hold yourself upright. But the reality is, again, people that have good posture, they just kind of default there automatically because they're, the systems within their body are working effectively. And again, one of these systems is just the activation of the muscles along your spine. So, so in the second video, we're gonna show you how once you've restored the mobility, we're gonna teach you how to start to activate and restore some of the musculature so that you have better endurance and just better ability to hold yourself upright for longer periods of time. And the last system um, we'll go over is just helping you understand the relationship between the muscles in the front of your shoulder and the muscles in the back of your shoulder. Again, if I assume this kind of uh, desk posture where the monitor, the mouse, and the keyboard is in front of me, uh, one of the secondary byproducts is the fact that the muscles in the front of my chest are also going to get tight and get really short and what happens when this uh, occurs is that there's going to be a lot of tightening, a lot of restrictions, and a lot of tension that forms the muscles in the front here, which then starts to increase the tension, the stress, and the strain in the muscles in the back, which can be at the root of why a lot of people have uh, chronic neck and shoulder pains, just because of the fact that the muscles in the front of their body are just constantly pulling them forward. So the last thing we would want to do is to teach you how to simultaneously open up the muscles in the front of your shoulder while also teaching you how to relax the muscles in the back, try to release tightness, release pain, just to help you start feeling better. So there are a lot of other things that are contributing to posture. Um, these are the, the only things, but I think that these are just the, the three most common things that we see in the clinic that we're able to help people make uh, relatively quick gains in a relatively short period of time. And that's going to eventually open the door for you to be able to do other things, to be able to further improve your posture, improve the health of your spine, 
which I hope to share more uh, in other videos in this channel. So let's get right into some of the more uh, application of things and how you can start to um, do some things on your, on your own to start to make improvements in your posture uh, starting today. So let's get right into it. Now, this is a disclaimer. Um, whenever we're giving advice uh, for potentially somebody that's, somebody that's in pain or somebody that's you know, having issues uh, moving because of pain, um, you know, as a disclaimer, if any of these exercises that I show start to increase your pain, or if you're just not sure if it's right for you, or if, you're, if it just doesn't feel uh, comfortable to you, then um, I would recommend that you stop and I would seek some type of uh, advice or some care from a physical therapist, uh, a chiropractor, or, or somebody that is uh, you know, licensed to be able to help you to make sure that these exercises are safe for your condition. Um, but with that said, um, let's get into some of the things that I work on with my patients to help them improve their posture, improve their mobility, um, and to just help them, again, live better, more active, more mobile lives within their body. So the, the first thing that um, I see with almost all of my patients, um, as I was alluding to before, is just a, a ton of uh, restriction and lack of range of motion and a stiffness within the vertebrae of their mid-back, known as their thoracic spine. Um, obviously, if I assume a seating posture, um, as we've been going over time and time again in this video, um, you see an increased curvature, this kyphotic curve of their mid-back from their neck all the way down to their, their mid to upper back. And um, over time, as you spend time in this position for days, weeks, months, and years, your body will start to conform and start to adapt. And this essentially will start to become the permanent state of your spine. Um, and what we want to do is just to very slowly um, uh, kind of ease into a position where we're starting to try to reverse that curvature, where at some point we want to restore the ability for your spine that might be stuck in a forward bent position to be able to restore its ability to bend backwards again, okay? Now, this is what I believe is at the core of, of why so many people are struggling to regain their posture. It's because they're just in, unaware of the fact that their spine from here to about here has just lost the ability to move. And this exercise I'm gonna show you, which is um, gonna be with the use of a foam roller, um, this is something I would highly recommend anybody um, use if they're trying to, you know, uh, improve or restore their posture. This high density foam roller is something that is essential, is an essential tool to be able to help. Um, so we want to use this roller in the beginning as a means to just be able to, one, assess and also start to restore the ability for my spine to be able to bend backwards. Okay. Most people that I see are, are a little shocked or surprised when I tell them that, hey, your spine is actually supposed to be able to move. And they're a bit surprised when they realize that their spines actually are stuck and they don't have the ability to move. And it's very easy to tell by just laying on this roller here, as I'm about to show you right now. So all you need to do is place this roller um, in, your, in the middle of your back, right between your shoulder blades. Okay. Now, a lot of people might be a little tender, it might be a little tight, it might be a little uncomfortable in the beginning, and that's okay as long as it's not producing any sharp pains that's like really debilitating. If it's just a little bit of stiffness, soreness, achiness, stretching, then that's okay. That's what we want to encourage. All right. And where we want to start is just to do just a little bit of rolling up and down those muscles. For a lot of people, these muscles just have not been, been stimulated, they haven't been touched, they haven't been stretched. So just getting a little bit of uh, massage, just getting a little bit of feel, just getting a little bit of pressure on those muscles can help just start to loosen up some of those muscles and so it can open the door for us to be able to regain some of the mobility back again. Okay, so I want to park myself somewhere in the middle, maybe right between my shoulder blades to start. And what I want to do here is just slowly start to arch and bend my back backwards over the roller. Okay. I'm keeping my hands behind my head to make sure that I'm not hinging or extending my neck too much, okay? I want to support my neck. And what I also want to be attentive and aware is to make sure that I'm not overarching from my lower back here, okay? 
I want to make sure that as I'm bending back over the roller, that I'm only bending back across the roller over my, the middle of my back like so, okay? And what we'll find for almost all of my patients, when we have them do this exercise and we have them do this stretch, they'll get to about here and they'll just get stuck. And we realize that their spine has actually lost the ability to bend backwards like so, okay? And just to reiterate, if your spine has lost the mobility to bend backwards, it's going to be impossible for you to access the muscles that will then be able to hold your posture upright. So the prerequisite to be able to do anything to improve your posture is to make sure that we are assessing and restoring the ability for your spine to be able to bend backwards. That is the prerequisite that gets lost in so many, so many of our patients. But once they start to regain some of this mobility, once they start to regain the ability for their body to bend, things start to change fast in the right direction. So let's just, re let's just go over this again. So I'm gonna roll up and down a little bit on this roller here, just to get a little bit of touch, just to get a little bit of massage, just to get a little stimulation in those muscles that might be um, lacking uh, in terms of circulation and just, just general touch, okay? Park somewhere in the middle and just see how far back you're able to bend. Hold my hands behind my neck, to, uh, to holding my hands behind my head to support my neck and make sure that I'm not overarching for my lower back. I'm gonna to try to bend my back as far over the roller, seeing if I can touch the ground, but a lot of people will, you'll kind of get stuck right around here. All right, and that's okay. This might take days, this might take weeks. And for some people, it might actually take a month or so for them to regain their mobility, as long as you're trending in the right direction, as long as it's not hurting to do so. Once you get stuck, if you get stuck, this is when you just stay right there and just take a deep breath. When you exhale, just try to relax and just let gravity take your head and your neck just a little bit further. Try it again. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, now the next thing you want to do after this is roll the roller up your back towards your neck a little bit and repeat the same thing. You first want to just assess to see, am I stuck? Am, can I bend? Does it hurt? And if you're able to get a little bit of a stretch, if you're able to get a little bit of a bend, and all you feel is just a little bit of stretching, a little tightness, a little discomfort, then that's fine, that's okay. Take a deep breath, breathe out, exhale, and just relax into the stretch. One more time, and breathe out. Now, if you do start to experience sharp pain in your neck, if you do start to experience sharp pain in the back, or again, if you're just not sure, I highly recommend that you reach out to a, a physical therapist that, that's close by that can potentially assist to make sure that your body is right for this exercise, okay? So this is the top of my mid-back. We did the middle, and then the last part we wanna do is just roll down a little bit lower, all right? And we wanna repeat the same thing. Breathe in, and breathe out and slowly just start to restore and regain some of the curvature in your spine that you may have lost, okay? Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathe in and breathe out, okay? And so that's, that's part one of, the, uh, of a postural restoration program. Um, this is the first prerequisite step before anything else can, can work. Um, as I said, I believe uh, what most people lack when they have poor posture is just the fact that they've lost the mobility in their spine, in their mid to upper back to be able to bend backwards, okay? And if your body has lost the ability to actually bend backwards, then you're not actually going to be able to access the muscles along your spine which will be able to hold you upright. You'll just be stuck and you'll be locked in this position until you start to restore your body's ability to actually move your spine into the right direction.
OK, so the second part of the uh, beginner posture program, um, just the three, three simple exercises to help you get started, um, is an exercise that will help you learn how to feel and activate the muscles along your spine here um, so that at some point as those muscles start to operate better, those muscles you will rely upon to help you hold yourself upright over long periods of time. Um, in the first video, we, we used a roller to emphasize the point of mobility first um, because if your spine from here to here has lost or lacks the mobility to actually get upright, then it's going to be impossible for you to actually train or strengthen the muscles to help you stay upright. Okay, so mobility first with the roller, and this exercise is going to help you activate and stimulate the little tiny muscles along your spine, which will ultimately be responsible for helping you stay upright for a longer period of time without having to constantly pay attention or to have to consciously correct your posture. Okay, now I just want to iterate that there are millions of different exercises that are out there, um, all of which can possibly um, you know, have some type of benefit. And my job with these videos is just to help you select what I feel are the simplest, safest, and most effective ways for you to just to get started. And that once you start, uh, at least with some of these exercises, then you are absolutely willing and free to be able to try others. And I'll, I'll probably show you more um, of examples of these exercises in this channel to come. But for just to keep things simple, uh, I just want to start with the, the what I believe just is the most simple, most accessible way for anybody just to get started once they've started to create some gains with, with uh, increasing mobility over the roller in their upper back. Okay, so this is a very simple uh, um, exercise that's borrowed from yoga, and it's called the, um, the cat and the cow. Okay, and we're going to emphasize more for the sake of just postural restoration. We're going to focus more on this back bending downward version of the exercise known as the cow. And where I want you to place your attention and your focus is not on your lower back here, but instead, obviously, we want to, if we're going to be trying to you know, rehabilitate your upper back, we want to place your concentration, your focus on the area of your back from here to about here. Just this whole like mid back region is the center in which I want you to be able to feel things happening. I want you to be able to feel muscles tightening, cramping, activating. Um, and if you aren't feeling anything happening from here, if you're feeling a lot of pressure here, or feeling a lot of pressure in your shoulders, if you're feeling a lot of pressure in your neck, then it's likely you, you still lack the mobility to be able to do the exercise appropriately. And so I'd spend a little more time with the roller to make sure that you have the ability to bend backwards a little bit better. And once you have that mobility, once you show an increase in your ability to actually bend to the area, then you're going to start to be able to uh, reap some of the benefits of the second exercise, okay? So, again, um, where I want to center my focus and my attention is on the middle of my back, around my ribs, and around my chest. And what I've found the easiest way to be able to do this exercise appropriately is just by focusing on dropping your chest and dropping your ribs as far as you can towards the ceiling. Or, I'm sorry, as far as you can towards the floor, like so. Okay, and as you can see, very slowly, my spine is assuming a backward bending curve, just like I am trying to do over the roller. Okay, and what you should feel is just activation. You should feel muscle tension. You should feel just tightness along the muscles along your mid back and your rib cage through here. And for a lot of people that haven't used or activated these muscles in quite some time, it actually might feel a little uncomfortable, might feel a little bit weird. It, might just, it just might feel a little strange just to kind of feel tightness or tension or just muscles activating along the area. But if that's happening when you do this, then that means you're doing it correctly. Okay, so I'm just dropping my chest, dropping my chest. And every time I get a little stuck or I get a little tight, I take a deep breath in, I exhale, and just sink into a deeper stretch. And at some point, I want to lift up my chest a little bit and just try to create as much of a backward bending curve as possible, like so. Okay, breathe in, breathe out, trying to maximize that curvature, and then relax. All right, now for a lot of people, especially in the beginning, 
um, they're going to be a little stiff. They're going to be a little tight. They're not going to be able to fully activate those areas of their upper back because if they were able to, then they probably wouldn't be having this problem to begin with. So some of the things to look out for when you're doing this exercise is to make sure as you're uh, getting into this curve that you're not putting all of the stress and all of the load in the lower back. This is a very common mistake that we see a lot of people make. When they do this exercise, it kind of looks like this, where their upper backs aren't really bending or moving at all. And instead, they're just dumping and just putting so much stress and tension in their lower back. And that's actually one of the underlying causes why they have lower back pain, because they're unable to feel or control the vertebrae in their mid-back. Okay? So if you're doing this exercise and if you can't feel anything except just lower back pain or lower back pressure, um, just try to recheck your form and just try to place your attention on, on feeling and moving the area above like so. Okay? So I'm just going to drop my chest, drop my chest, drop my ribs, and just try to create a backward bending curve across my mid to upper back. Stick out my chest towards the end. Take a couple of deep breaths. If I get a little tight or if I get a little stuck, exhale. And just relax into the position. And you should feel activation. You should feel tightness. You should feel just sensation occurring across your mid-back, across maybe into your ribs, or maybe a little bit stretching into your chest. That's how you know you're doing it correctly. Again, if you start to feel pressure or tightness in the top of your shoulders or the top of your neck or the base of your neck, you start to feel a lot of lower back pain or low back pressure, then you might be too stiff. You might need to start to visit the roller again, or you might need to um, just kind of recheck your form, make sure that you're able to feel it in the areas where we're trying to explain in this video. So that's the second thing um, that you can start to do to get started to improve your posture on your own at home. Okay, so now let's get into the third, the third exercise that um, you can start to do to start to uh, hopefully restore your posture at the, from the comfort of your own home um, in a way that I think is going to be you know, very safe and also very effective. Um, so the first exercise we went over just to help you um, at a fundamental level restore the mobility of your thoracic spine, of your vertebrae. Nothing will improve with your posture until that starts to improve. So um, again, that might take days, might take weeks, um, but just as long as you're making uh, improvements, then, then continue with it. Um, and the second thing we started, the second exercise we showed you was a cow exercise, which is a very simple exercise just to start to engage and be able to feel the muscles along your spine, which will essentially be the ones that are going to be responsible for keeping you upright over the course of the day at a level where you don't have to constantly pay attention to your, to your posture all the time. Um, and the last thing I want to show you is just a, a simple progression of the first exercise where we just want to make things a little bit more challenging just to add a little bit more stimulation if, if you start to see some progress. Okay, and this is what we would call a, uh, what I call a, a the short stop position, because uh, it's going to be similar to like a short stop uh, in, a, in a baseball, in a baseball game, um, which this then opens the door to be able to do, um, you know, more, uh, you know, complex or more difficult exercises that will further improve your posture, known as deadlifts, uh, using kettlebells, or even using weights or, or other types of um, uh, resistance exercise once you start to become uh, proficient and want to, uh, you know, maybe progress further in terms of your program. So I just wanted to uh, lay some of the foundations, lay some seeds here so you can just start to just kind of play around with some of the things that you can start to do on your own. Okay. So, so again, um, posture uh, is, you know, restoring your posture um, as complex as we make it sometimes, sometimes you just have to understand it's actually quite simple if we just understand what we need to do to actually fix it. So once we have theoretically restored the range of motion in my upper back, we then want to load that, those muscles to strengthen them so that they have better endurance, so that better, they have better strength, and they have better ability to hold yourself up for longer stretches of time, and as you start to engage in more um, you know, rigorous forms of activity or exercise. Okay, so all I'm gonna do here is just to, um, well, I'm gonna be standing here, and I'm just gonna bend over and just kind of slide my hands down towards my thighs and towards my knees. And I actually want you to start um, with your spine in a flexed or bent or kyphotic posture here. Okay? And starting from this point, we then want you to start to slowly 
create a nice straight line in your spine like so. All right. I want to make sure that I'm not overarching my back where I'm starting to create a lot of compression or overarching my lower back. And I want to make sure I'm not extending from my neck here because that's going to lead to a lot of pressure in the back of my neck. Where I want to place my concentration and focus, starting in a bent position, um, I can either start from the bottom or I can start from the top, but I just slowly just want to create a nice straight line within my spine, like so, just like a tabletop position. In exercise lingo or in exercise physiology and biomechanics lingo, we call this position the neutral spine, where the spine is essentially in the safest, most protected pos uh, position possible, where not a lot of injury can happen, okay? And so let's start again. So we're going to start in a flex position, and then slowly we're going to start to just create a nice straight line and just hold this position here, okay? Now, a couple of things to note where um, a lot of people are going to fight a lot of shoulder tension um, because of the nature of their posture as well. So we just want to kind of put your hands on your, on, your, on your thighs here and make sure if you find your shoulders shrugging or something forward that you also want to push your shoulders down and push your shoulders back because that's also going to help just uh, help you realign your spine to a nice straight position, just like so. Okay? And what you should feel is obviously activation along the muscles along your spine and just hopefully focus also on an opening of the chest and just a locking of the muscles on your side here known as the lat here. Okay, this is a, the, what is called the short stop position uh, made famous by a uh, spine biomechanist by the name of Stuart McGill. Okay, hold this position for about 10 seconds and breathe. Making sure that we're not overarching. We just want to try to maintain a nice straight line within my spine here. Breathe. And breathe. And then reset. Okay? Very simple. So first you start with the roller to increase your mobility. Then we want to start with a simple way of just activating those muscles. And now we want to start to... Um, find uh, what's called the neutral spine in different positions. So then that's going to open the door for, for more training and more rigorous exercise uh, that we can do later on. Uh, for example, one of the best exercises once people start to get start to progress or start to get into more advanced levels of, of exercise uh, is through the use of these things known as kettlebells, all right? Where essentially I wanna do the same thing where I'm gonna be holding on to this kettlebell. I start with a rounded back, and then I start to slowly take shape to my spine is completely straight and protected. And once these muscles are activated along my spine, that's going to protect my back. And eventually I'll be able to do something like a deadlift, which is going to further improve uh, my posture over time. Okay. But for the sake of uh, this just little beginner exercise and this, this beginner program, all you need to start with is just with the basic, the basic three, uh, rolling over the roller, um, for your upper back to increase mobility, activating those muscles uh, with the cat cow, and then to start to work on this short stop drill just so you can start to feel um, the activation of those muscles along your spine um, in different positions. Open the door for more challenging things to come. So I hope that you find this uh, mini program helpful. Um, and again, uh, these are the things, these are the programs that we work on with our clients. And once we're able to get them to this point, a lot of their pain uh, uh, starts to go away. Their posture starts to improve. And what's really cool is that um, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't revert back. And that if they can stay consistent to the stretching, if they can stay consistent to um, just stimulating their body in a healthy way, not only does their posture improve, but so does their overall mobility, so does, so does their overall health, and so does the overall ability for them to just to feel better and more confident and more comfortable within their bodies again. So I um, hope you found this, this helpful um, and, you know, stay tuned to, to the channel because we're definitely going to be going over uh, more exercises and more ways to not just improve your posture, but just to also improve your overall uh, health in, in general. So uh, I hope this helps and uh, we'll see you again next time. Take care.